If we look at the Plowshare Tortoise Programme, it's our largest and our longest serving conservation programme. It's what took us to Madagascar. We've had some great successes. We saw a new national park created for this species. We saw a successful breeding programme created. We saw huge programmes developed with local communities. And yet the animal is as threatened as it ever was. In the early days, we were dealing with fairly well-known threats. This was habitat loss. Um, large areas of habitat were getting burnt. Uh, area was getting uh, farmed and, and encroached by cattle. And by working with communities, by working with the government, by creating the national park, we were able to deal with many of these threats. However, in recent years, the nature of that threat has changed and changed dramatically. This animal is the most highly sought after reptile on the illegal pet trade. Many years ago, we set a long-term conservation uh, goal of releasing 100 tortoises back to the wild. And this was set before we knew what the current threats are. But this was our long-term breeding goal and what we thought would bring the population back to a healthy level. Back in the very early days, we needed to find a place where we could breed these tortoises, tortoises in a safe location. And so we started a breeding centre within the Ankarafanska National Park. This is in the field station close to the government agencies. And this has become our centre of breeding um, for, for the species. And there we have over 300 tortoises. That is about um, a two-hour drive from the regional capital of Majanga, and then another four-hour boat ride from the field site of Bali Bay, where the tortoises are found. And the people who live there are very much cut off from the rest of Madagascar, which makes them very, very isolated and very vulnerable. Part of our strategy is to ensure that there is a well-protected um, breeding population of these animals in the wild. We radio track each of these animals to ensure that they're safe, and we monitor them very, very closely. So we know what's happening to every single one of those animals that have been released over the last 20 years. Right now, the field team, they've just released our 100th plowshare tortoise. A few weeks ago, we took them to a secure area close to the release site so they could start acclimatizing to the local habitat conditions. And then with uh, local dignitaries, with local school children, with the villages as part of big festivals, we actually brought the animals out and released them um, back into the wild. The future for the plowshare tortoise, um, I have to say, is cloudy. I would love to tell you that we're extremely positive, that, we're go that it's going to be an absolute success. But we're dealing with some very, very powerful global forces. We're dealing with um, very, very determined people who have a lot of money who want these animals. And if we don't have a government in Madagascar that can put the capacity in place to deal with that situation, we're going to face a number of challenges. Now, Durrell will not walk away from this situation. We've invested a huge amount of our our history, our sweat, our blood and our tears into this project. And so we will ensure that the plowshare tortoise survives.